years ago, I struggled with getting treatment plans approved because the reviewer for my Medicaid treatment plans lived in California and she fundamentally disagreed with the clinic-based model. So her question to me was constantly, what are my plans to transition all services to home? And we were a clinic. We didn't, we weren't set up for home-based services and we didn't have the resources to be able to do that. On top of that, the parents didn't want us in their home. They really wanted clinic-based services. And that's what they were looking for when they came to us. So my answer to her was always, I don't have a plan to transition all services to home. She was adamant that without providing direct services in the home, that the skills learned in the clinic were never generalized to the home environment. So I was challenged with creating a program for making sure that those skills generalized to the home environment. And I appreciate that I encountered the struggle because it really pushed me to create a very robust parent training model because I honestly believed that as long as we were teaching parents how to support their child at home, that we didn't actually need to be providing those direct services at home and parents would have the tools and resources they needed to be able to offer that support. So I created a very robust parent training program that included individual didactic parent training where I met one-on-one -on -one regularly with each of the parents. And we had play clinics where I would invite the parents to come in and we would go into a room with their child and we would just play together and we would work on different goals that we had already pre-established. And then we also did group parent training. So I would create some topic each month and I would invite all of the parents to come and I would present on the topic. And that provided the parents with a really great way to network and connect with each other, but also to develop the skills that they needed to support their child at home. It also normalized some of what I was saying because the parents could see that I was telling these same crazy things to all of the different parents. So that was another really helpful feature. When it came time to work on generalization, I would meet up with parents out in the community and we would do things like go to Target or go to any other community environment that they were struggling with with their child and that would align with their treatment goals.